Good morning, everyone. We are on the beautiful island of Il Dieu, and uh, we arrived here after quite an average sail, a very average sail. The skipper got seasick. It was pretty choppy, pretty cold. Um, we were going pretty fast though, so you know, not all bad. Um, however, it is uh, so good to be here. Nick, despite saying that he's definitely not going to make any noise when I'm talking to camera, <laughs> it's rustling in the background. Rustling, we made it like a big sack of leaves. <laughs> and today we are going exploring, aren't we? Yes, my love. Before we go exploring, we have to go and get some um, food and some Dude. dinner. Mm. Yeah. Remember how we got? We want to go to the Poissonnerie? We're not going to get from the Poissonnerie till later, are we? We literally had this conversation last night. We we talked in detail about what we're doing today. Yeah, what well, so if we get food like pastries and go back to the poissonnerie later? What's the point in carrying fresh fish around? So we can do the whole food shop later. Yeah. So we don't need to go to anywhere right now. Apart from a little pastry. Okay. <laughs> little energy boosting pastry. <laughs> okay, so exact itinerary is still a little bit unclear, but off we go. I think get some kind of pastry pastry <laughs> and then and then we're gonna go exploring <sighs> ready for the day yep Michelangelo would be proud now you ready Just for the record, you're supposed to be able to open these Brompton bikes in like one smooth motion and they're just like snap into place. But my bike in particular is so rusted that um, like <laughs> that's impossible. <laughs> so if I look really awkward doing that, doing this, that's why. I've got a puncture which I'm gonna to have to change out later. What an absolutely spectacular day. We have been, I don't know, rained on more times in the last week and a half than I can remember in a long time. It's been rainy quite often over the last uh, 10 days or so. And we may get rained on slightly today. There's like, I don't know if you can see behind me, there's a little bit of um, dark cloud over there. Um, and the forecast was for a shower or two, but I don't, I'm hoping that it's nothing too, too serious. So Wednesday morning, it's market day in Ile Dieu. Um, while Teresa is um, fiddling with her bike plot, we are gonna go and get some pastries and maybe some sandwiches for lunch so that we can just cycle around the island and take in this beautiful French would we call it a holiday town, Therese? Was it a holiday yeah. island? Yeah, it's more of a holiday island. I feel that we're settling into our season. It's, yeah. you know, the first couple of sales, we've done three now. You know, the first one you was, you know, concerned about the boat and then you look at the boat. And you have to get into a season. You definitely don't just start you know, hitting the ground running. Mm. And I'm, we're still not there, you know, you kind of like, I'm still, you know, still enough of a land lover to be seasick, you know, to be getting mal de mer. Mal de mer. Mal de mer. Oh, don't, but, um, don't you fuck at me, dog. But it's, it's pleasant. Maybe the dog can see the dead cat. Merci, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hello. Some things make me very happy. A big kind of table full of coffee, juice, and pastries is, is definitely one of those things. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. These are 
good. Alright, so we'll go to the tourist office and get a map. Yep. And then we can. We should just walk to that, shouldn't we? Yeah, it's just around the corner. Alright, what did you get? I got us a map. Alright, let's have a look at this. all in French. Did you? Yes, I did. Okay, well, there she, you go. She didn't even speak to me in English, which I was quite surprised about. There you go. So we got off the bikes and walked this way assuming that it was a trail to the beach but I feel like it's um I don't know what it is I feel like it's a big camping ground we're, we're assuming this actually leads somewhere but it might not if it doesn't they have been on trails that have led nowhere before this is looking quite promising suddenly instead of leaves underfoot I have sand underfoot Oh, this is lovely. How magnificent. Here. I actually need to be on the rock that you're standing on. So you've got that little bit which is about, you've got to literally just go like, like American like, Ninja. Yeah, like those people on those game shows. Yeah, so American Ninja that one, yeah? Like one, two, three. Ty's coming in quickly. I'm scared. Go or don't go, but come on, babe. Don't, don't touch me. I'm touching you, I'm six foot away from you. Alright, ready? Yes, darling. Go. That wasn't the rock I was telling you to go to. <laughs> Just put your bloody foot on it. Hop, hop. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. And then that one. All right. Go. Shit. I'm scared. Okay. Oh, you're going to get wet. Go. There you go. There's nothing to it. No, no. You go that way. Oh. That way and over. Come on. Oh, this way. Okay. Yeah. You forgot the camera. <laughs> How am I supposed to get that camera? You're going to have to pass to me that way. Yeah, right. Oh. Jeez, you make it look very easy. Although I suppose it helps to have longer legs. I would be gutted if my shoes got wet today. We still have a big day ahead of us. Very graceful. Like a goat. <laughs> <laughs> like a climbing mountain goat. I used to do this when I was a kid a lot. I actually used to as well. Believe it or not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, would you? Yeah, right. <laughs> Ildio is a flat, sandy island off the French coast with a rocky granite coastline which is famous for tuna and lobster fishing. This was actually our third time to the island. We'd previously been in 2013 and 2014, but we still found a number of beaches and bays that we had never discovered before. While it is a popular tourist destination, particularly in the summer, it still retains that wonderful community feel. You really get the sense that this island is home to people year round, not just holiday makers. It is so pretty, so lovely, and honestly, we found it really hard to leave this gorgeous little place. We soon developed a daily routine of walks by the harbour, a coffee and a pastry, and an afternoon cycle ride. All right, so we have this, today we have been very organized. Yeah. 
very organized and we have a picnic and we have a big flask of uh like cordial what do you call it? squash you call it squash yeah we call it cordial and um yeah we're good to go so let's let's go exploring <laughs> So we're at the same place we were at the other day and uh, then we're going to sit down, have a little picnic, enjoy the view. We've got bread, we've got a flask of squash slash cream. Thank you. I see. Well you can do things properly but you can't slap dash it all your life. It's salt. <laughs> <laughs> you can stop me my love. Wait till you see what I've got. Shrubbies? No. I see you, your picnic. <laughs> and what do you raise it? What are you raising our picnic? Well, I have. You know these ones. Ooh. Potatoes. Tuna really? pate. Nice. Ham. Yes. The only thing that you forgot, but you'll thank me for butter. Burger. <laughs> what a genius. All right, baby. All Should right. Eat? Yeah, let's eat. Have a manger. Yeah, this isn't a bad view for lunch. It's uh, pretty beautiful here. Let me just show you the view. There we go. Kind of a half deserted beach. Nice. <laughs> what a <have> view! <you? laughs> <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is very civilized. Mm -hmm. This place is so nice. It's only like a 10 minute cycle away from the marina. We found it the other day when we were on a little bike ride adventure. And uh, yeah, couldn't resist coming back for a picnic today. So very glad we did. <clears throat> And now we are going to continue on and um, now we're fed and watered and sorted out. Yep. Carry on. So we've got our baguette in case you get hungry. What a delightful way to see a place, eh? We've got a little bit of shade from the lovely trees and we've got birds singing in the background. We've got a beach to our left. Life is pretty good, I have to say. So unlike Ile de Laurent, which I highly recommend, by the way, Ile Dieu, uh, despite being lovely and delightful in every single way, doesn't have much in the way of like dedicated cycle paths. You're kind of just using the road. Um, or, in this instance, very much going off-road, and I'm not quite sure. We just took like this random track. Um, it's getting sandy, so I'm assuming that we're near the beach. Another secret delight. Finding all sorts of secrets today. managed to cycle down to the tip of the island. It's actually way smaller than I was expecting, which is a good thing because my tire keeps on running flat on me. So I'm gonna have to stop in a minute and bump it back up again. Pretty wild this coastline, right? Yeah. Well, it's getting back to granite, isn't it? You're the geologist, but yeah, this is uh, 
granite coastline, which means we're into Brittany. It's beautiful. There you go. Spectacular, don't you think? Rugged. Very think rugged. Rugged. I think that's the rugged is the word we need to use. Just rugged. Like, just like you. Mm, I think more rug than rugged. <laughs> rug. <laughs> rugged. <laughs> <laughs> Would we call him rugged? No more of a rug. Just a nice day, Sal. We are sailing downwind today, which is always fun. Yeah, I feel fine. <laughs> oh, I don't want it. <laughs> Right, so here we are in Pornick. This is this is beautiful. Delightful and it's very Brittany as well. If you would like to support our video production, then please consider joining our wonderful Patreon community. Our patrons get loads of exclusive content as well as access to things like WhatsApp groups and Facebook groups. They also get rubrous to news way before everyone else, as well as any crewing and meetup opportunities. Just click the link in the description below.